Hi everybody. Now we've got a little bit of fun here. I wanted to surprise Claire with... <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. A little bit of a quiz. Only fun from the internet and we'll give the link to where this quiz is so that you can have a go yourself. But the question is, which wife of Henry VIII are you? Ooh. Yeah. So Ooh the dear. website we're using here is... Have I got to be honest rather than trying to be... I suspect you, you know, my well. historical heroine, Anne Boleyn. So, so I'm, going to the be, description... I'm going to be honest, so who knows where this will go then. This quiz is from Zoo, and uh, it says, About this quiz, King Henry VIII was notorious for having the most wives in the history of England's royalty. Which of his six wives are you most similar to? Let's find out. Okay, Ready? Well, perhaps I don't want to be Anne Boleyn, cause you know, she came to a bad end, really. <laughs> Which of Henry VIII's wives do you admire the most? I mean, there's a choice of four. Catherine, there's only a choice of four? There's only a choice of four. Okay. Yeah. Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Anne of Cleves, or Catherine Howard? Well, it's a bit obvious, really, isn't it? Well, you need to tell us. Duh. Anne Boleyn. Okay, that's the wife that you admire the most. Yes. Okay, scroll down to the next question. Why would you marry? I'd marry for love. I'd marry for money. I'd marry to form a family alliance. I'd marry for security. <laughs> I've got to be careful about answering this one. Yeah, I guess I? you do, yeah. Love. You'd marry <laughs> for love. For okay, love. right, let's go down to the next question. Assuming that you weren't married, I presume, is it how old do you want to be when you get married? Between 36 and 40, between 26 and 30, between 31 and 35, or between 20 and 25. How old was I when we got married? You were in your 20s. Um, yeah, I was 24, so I suppose I ought to go for the You're one. Going for the young one, yeah. okay, between 20 and 25. Okay. Do you want, yeah, again, assuming you're not already married, do you want a big wedding? No, only family and friends. Yes, everyone is invited. It doesn't matter, or absolutely, it's a requirement. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because if it's about love. <laughs> because it's, it's about, about love. love. What colour would your wedding dress be? Purple, red, green, or turquoise? Tur what's turquoise? Turquoise. Turquoise. <laughs> Kick me. <laughs> What were the options Purple, again? red, green, or the other one? There's no white? No, there's no oh, white. I go for royal purple. 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 Okay. It is my favourite colour as well. So okay. You and you're wearing a purple top here. I am. See, I'm all, all set up for this. Which Renaissance job would you have? I'd be a merchant, I'd be a baker, I'd be a barrister, or I'd be a fortune teller? Oh, barrister. Barrister. <laughs> okay. As a woman, I wouldn't actually get very far in that, but barrister, I like that one. Which of these medieval activities would you think you would like the most? Embroidery, jousting, reading manuscripts, or feasting? <laughs> reading manuscripts, reading definitely, because that's what I enjoy doing I today. That's what you do, yeah. <laughs> it's the night of the wedding. What song would get you in the mood? <laughs> No. Get It On by Montel Jordan, Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande, Adorn by Miguel, or Pillow Talk by Zayn. I don't even know no, any, of know any of those songs. What were they again? Get It On. Should we just go for the titles? Which title appeals to you? Get It On, Dangerous Woman, Adorn, or Pillow Talk? Oh, Get It On. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Which European country would you visit? Spain, England, Germany or France? Well, we live in Spain and I do like it whenever we go to France. Oh, not okay. France. 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 How would you describe yourself? I'd say I'm loyal. I'd say I'm confident. I'd say I'm kind-hearted. I'd say I'm charismatic. Loyal. Loyal. Okay. Which of these virtues do you possess? Faith, justice, humility, or charity? And you've only got to pick one of them, obviously. Faith. Faith. Okay. What do you want most in this life? True love, Ooh. riches, power, or happiness? 
True love. True love. Oh, you're feeling all romantic. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Which would you prefer? Rich and unhappy or poor and happy? Say rather, that again. Which would you prefer, rich and unhappy or poor oh, okay. and happy? I'd rather be poor and happy. I'd rather be rich and happy, even though that wasn't yeah. an option. I'd rather be... Yeah, poor, poor and happy. The happiness is more happy. important than money. Okay, all right. Which of these deadly sins will be your downfall? Ooh, Envy, oh greed, pride or lust? Envy? Greed, pride or lust? That's a tricky one, thinking about your downfall. Yeah, envy. I'm not going to get Anne Boleyn here, am I? Envy. <sighs> oh, you're starting to think about which queen you're going to <laughs> No, no, I'm being honest, but I'm not like Anne Boleyn at all. What is your favourite pastime? I love to sing. I love to play an instrument. I love to read. I love to paint. I love to read. Okay. I could Although have... singing recently. Well, yeah, we've done a lot of singing recently. We've done lots of singing. What would you be able to offer your loyal subjects? Great advice, money, fashion tips, or a good time? Great advice. Great Great advice. advice. Particularly as a time traveller going back <laughs> to the 16th century. Yes, that century. would be quite useful, yeah. They could learn a lot from you. On a scale of one to 10, and I don't quite know how they're doing this with four answers only, but on a scale of one to 10, how honest are you? <laughs> um, which way round? Ten is honest. Ten. It gets me into trouble, actually, sometimes. Ten. Okay. Ten actually honest. was one of the choices, Being so that's you were lucky. Honest. Would you say that you're a hopeless romantic? Yes, no, not really, or I can be? Yeah, I can be. I can be. I can be. What? Not all the time, but I can be. What are you attracted to in a potential mate? <laughs> We need to have similar interests. <laughs> they need to be mysterious. They need to be attractive. They need to excite me. Oh, they need to excite me. They need to excite <laughs> <laughs> and the film stops here. <laughs> have you ever cheated on a significant other? We had to get it on earlier, so there you go. <laughs> have you ever cheated on a significant other? No. no. Nope. Okay. There were some other choices there, but no. Uh, and I got, and I'm ten for honesty. So there you go. <laughs> nope. But if you did cheat on Henry, which famous leader would it be with? Ooh. Barack Obama, Justin Trudeau, Prince Carl Philip, or Enrique Pena Nieto? <laughs> That's a really strange question. Obama. President Obama. Ex President yeah. Obama. Yes. Okay. Yes. What would you do? Very intelligent and charismatic. What would you do if you found out your significant other was having an affair? I would say Ooh. nothing because he'll always come back to me. Blackmail the other person, argue about it, or leave him. I'd argue about it and then leave. Okay, you can't argue against the first <laughs> one of those. I'd give you a chance to explain. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. Then I'd have a go at you, and then I'd walk out on you. So all of the above. <laughs> yes. Would you ever get a divorce? No, marriage is until death. Not if I didn't sign a prenuptial. Yes, or I'm not sure. Yes. Yes. Would you want to betray to get what you want? No, who? What? I read that wrong. What? Who what? would you betray to get what you want? I read it wrong. Nobody. No one. Oh, no one's an answer. Okay, that's fine. No. Well, but, but I suppose you should have read them out. But no, no, it's fine. Nobody. How many children do you want? One, two, as many as possible, or I don't want any? One, two, or as many as possible? Yes. That doesn't really give me three, does it? Well, so, that's as many as, as many possible. As many as possible. <laughs> what do you tend to do when you're sad? I never let it show. I throw a tantrum. I cry. I talk to someone about it. I cry. You cry. Well, I do probably all of those, but... Yes. Which fellow queen would you like to hang out with? Queen Elizabeth, Queen Raina, Queen Maxima, or Queen Letitia? And I don't know who any of those queens are, so how would we pick? Oh, well, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Because... You know, she's uh, my daughter. Who are the other ones? Berlin, but no, I'm not going to be. What Berlin. type of party would you have for your birthday? Ooh. A dinner party, 
a masquerade ball, a garden party, <laughs> or a dance party. Oh, a music. masquerade ball sounds really exciting. Okay, okay, I'll have to remember that one. We must be nearly there now. Would you say that you are religious? Yes, extremely. No, but I pretend to be. No, or it depends. Yes. Yes. Which of these Cirque du Soleil shows would you go and see? And that's impossible to answer because I've never well, heard of any of these well, things. I like the Cirque du Soleil, but I can't say I know the names of their shows. No, they? I well, don't know I'll either. Read them out. Amaluna, Zumanity, Mystere, or Miss, yeah, Mystere, yeah, and Toruk. Oh, Mystere sounds, or Mystere. Okay. Mister. I sounds, don't want to uh, sign up for their... It's French, isn't it? No, you don't want to sign up for them. I don't want to sign up for anything. Well, are you ready, big drum I'm roll? I'm not Anne Boleyn, am I? You're not Anne Boleyn. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I never am when I do quizzes. I could put a drum roll in on this bit. I'm going to be arrogant, aren't I? You got Catherine of Aragon. I'm always either Catherine of Aragon or Catherine Parr when I do quizzes. You are Catherine of Aragon, the first of Henry's six wives. Like Catherine, you are loyal, intelligent and strong. Of all the queens, you are loved the most by your people and you will always be known as the true queen. You have a very strong belief and you stay true to them until the very end. You may have been taken advantage of and unfairly treated, but you handle, you handle every situation with grace and class. There you go. And I could do things like wanting to send the Scottish King's head to my husband in France. <laughs> I've got a brutal side to it. <laughs> you have a brutal got a side really to it. gory side to it. So there you go. You probably. I'm Catherine of Aragon. I knew. I'm never Anne Boleyn when I do these things because although I admire Anne Boleyn, I'm probably not like her. So. Although I do think they're very stereotyped. Oh, these, very much so. Know. Yes. So we'll give the link to this quiz, which was not one of ours. It's just from the website Zoo. And uh, if you want to have a go, there's no oh, obligation. Yeah. And you can comment. And you could comment below and, and see which queen you, you become. That would be really interesting. It would be interesting to see if people that like Anne Boleyn actually end up being Catherine of Aragon. Or who knows? Oh, yeah. We'll see. Yes, yeah, so you could put, actually in your comment, you could put which queen you admire the most Ooh. and then who you actually got. I like that'd it. That would be really interesting. So there we go, a bit of fun. Yes. Claire is did you, actually... Who did you get? Have you done this? I didn't do it. We did it for our daughter, and in fact, she also came out being Catherine of Aragon. Oh, me and Varys, we were just so, you know, twinsies. Yep. Oh, that was good fun. Thank you. That was you. good fun. So there we go. A little bit of fun just for the day. Nothing serious. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye for now. Take care.